Hello and welcome back to another Factorio tutorial. My name is Negative Root and let's get cracking today. We're talking about the central bus design concept. So, uh, this is probably going to be a fairly lengthy episode. I'm going to attempt to demonstrate the central bus design from the start uh, and give basically an early game build using the central bus design and give a few ideas on uh, how to do it. Basically, you run uh, all your main materials down the guts of the factory and then branch off your, your factory from there. Pretty simple. However, uh, hard to master. So, let's hook up the factory and get it running. Everything going. Yes, they're going. Okay, wonderful. Now, uh, so I've just got simple miner setup, simple um, smelting setup. You know, this should all theoretically theoretically work. Bit of buffer storage. Buffer storage is always a good idea. And then we have our little uh, central central bus. Now, what we are going to do from here is just do a few little builds to demonstrate how to do it. And you can see that these are actually not balanced. So I'm just going to have to do something really quickly here. Make sure this all works nicely. Because I do not want to look like a dodo. Right. There we go. That'll balance itself out. And uh, it'll do the right thing. Now, what we need to do is... Yeah, we need to do the first builds that that one would ever do. So once you've got your smelting up and running and a bit of buffer storage, you just need to start splitting things off. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, red science. Now red science is um, pretty easy. It's it's always a very straightforward build, and you know you can do it a couple of different ways. Uh, I'll just show you one way. Now that should work. Now what we're going to do, okay? Red science is going to have a pretty high priority. Closer to the right means high priority. That's a little bit close. Uh, we'll back that up a little bit to there. Throw down uh, two inserters, I reckon. Should be more than enough. Okay. Just check that that's not up here. No. I cleared the area out, and I've kind of neglected to put down defenses. I'm hoping that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. Okay. So there we go. Now what we need to do is set up um, some factories where they can actually take use of it. Now how you do it is up to you. Uh, I'm just going to do it... Um, oh, how can I do it? Well, let's do it like this. Why not? One, two, three, four, five. Pretty straightforward. Okay. There we go. What we need to do is, uh, oh man, I'm so not going to have enough inserters. Let me just grab something quickly. Obviously, you won't have these um, robo ports and logistics bots. I'm just using them to help speed the production. So there we go. That there, that there, that there, that there, that there. Grab this. Stick that there. Now, I've got two choices. I can do it one of two ways. I'm going to do it the second, because that's probably the better way of doing it. Uh, we'll grab that. Come down here. Like that. Right, done. And what we're going to do for the copper, we just need to get these out of the way for a moment. So what we'll do is we'll just do this. We'll go the maximum distance. Okay. Now the reason I'm using two lines is just for throughput. Uh, I like two lines. Now, uh, just because this is a split, I'm just going to need a splitter to rebalance the lines, make sure nothing gets uneven. Uh, we'll do that. Then we'll rebalance the lines. This is going to be our copper input down. 
Now, obviously, I'm going to need some different inserters here. I'm just going to grab some of these long-handed ones. And that will do me. That'll be Red Science organized now. I just want to do something real quick in here. I'd just like a little bit more storage on the line so that I've got more um, gear wheels around should I need them. There we go. There we go. There we go. Right, yo. Now, what we're going to do is all these um, red science packs, we're just going to take them away from the main line and go down here somewhere. This will be our labs down here. Okay. So that's out, 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 and out. One more line. There we go. Red science galore. Now, what this will do is this will ensure that, you know, things down the line will still get resources. So this here means that 50% of this line will go continuing while the remainder is going down here. And because I'm, I'm using two lines, it's actually the draw is less. If this was just the one bus line, the actual draw and, and the priority would be higher in this direction. So there's our um, red signs. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Now, say you're um, in a you know world where the biters are of decent difficulty, and you're going to need some ammo. So let's let's do a quick ammo build because you're going to need you're going to need it. Uh, right. So that we'll take this out. And this, this I'm just just demonstrating how you do it, um, how, to, how to work with a central bus. Right, there we go. Ammunition, somewhere here, there you go. And the build is pretty much done. Okay, probably put it into a box, just make it an iron chest because you guys will have that when you come to build this. Right, yeah, there you go. And, okay, restricted. There you go. So that's um, you know that all sorted. Now, if there was another build down here that you you needed only iron for, you could do that. Uh, so let's continue on down the line because the next build we're going to need to do is um, green science. Now, what I'll do is I'll just lay this out and one more up here. Hopefully, this is going to work. Is that me? No, it's down south. That's okay. So what I'm doing is this is obviously a super compact build. Well, it's not super compact, but it's pretty compact. You know, um, there's a lot of love around for compact builds, so I'm just going with it. If you're new, I would advocate uh, taking a bit more space to lay everything out because doing things in close quarters like this is often a recipe for disaster. So uh, what we're going to have here is actually we could do this, right? Instead of putting a bend in it, right, we could just have our have our labs. I'm only going to make one, just to, to give the idea. Uh, right, what's that? They're all powered. Where'd that lab go? There it is. I have that, like, something like that. Okay, there we go. So your labs would come down here and be a bit of a setup down here. Just like that. Okay, now we need to get this uh, green science sorted. So the first, the first thing is really the um, the transport belt, I think. So what we'll do is we'll just go down and then back up because I have a bit of a, an idea in mind. Now this may seem counterintuitive that I'm going to the north with it, but trust me, uh, I have an idea. Okay. I'm just adding rebalances after every line because you'll notice that one line may get a little bit lopsided when you, you do things a certain way. Now, uh, I have an idea, as I said. Uh, we're going to go... We're going to go... Actually, we'll come this way because there's a little bit more space. So that, like that. Okay, that's just to measure everything out. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a splitter in. Okay, something like that. Another splitter. This is a gear wheel factory. It's going to put into a box and out of a box. Because buffer storage is a good idea, remember. And something like that. 
Okay. Looks good to me. Now we need input. Input. Probably double inputs because this is a fast build. And this is transport belt. Now I'd want to uh, put this into a box. Because you want to think ahead and be like, okay, well, I'm going to have um, logistic spots at some stage. You know, I'm going to need it. So we've got that, right? And that's all set up. Now, here's the thing. Okay, this build is expandable. You notice how I'm not getting anything in the way here. I'm just keeping it very simple. I've got my my um, iron plate. I've got my copper. Everything's running along smoothly. Let me just uh, actually grab something real quick here. There they are. I just want to make sure that I'm actually getting the materials that I need. Because otherwise it's going to be a little bit shitty. Okay. Now, uh, so yeah, you're going to have things. And this you don't want this to get in the way. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to run an advanced setup in this north northerly direction. We'll come back to that and do red belt later. Now red belt is just gears. Um, or more gears. And... Um, Iron plate. Now we want to limit this to say that much. We notice that this is going flat out. Uh, right. That will continue to the north. Nice out. Switch that over. Crease that up. Okie dokie. Now, so I've got my transport belt here. The next thing I'm going to need is both um, circuits and inserters. So we'll just continue this down a little bit further. So I want to do a really, really chunky um, circuit build right here. Actually, I am running out of things left, right and centre. Completely misunderestimated how many, um, how many things I'm going to need here. So, well, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Okay, I have an idea. What we want to do... Okay, is actually as okay. Now I'm making this up on the fly. Okay, I haven't. The only things I've got planned out are actually um, the the builds that I'm going to do. I haven't actually come up with the actual builds themselves. Uh, so that's that. Okay, and that's this like that. We need a steel chest. Sorry, an iron chest. I reckon I use a steel chest over here somewhere. There. Whoops. Anyway. Right, uh, we'll put that down there. We need some lights because this is night time. Right. Now this is going to be uh, the end of our inserter build. Okay? So we need iron plate and gear wheels. So I'm going to run that up and in. Uh, I need, obviously, my gear wheels to be about here. Gear wheels. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on this side. Okay, something like that. Like, like that. And then what I'm going to do is it's just a similar kind of idea where I'm splitting off from the main line and this is going to be my iron here. Okay, so we'll get this in a little bit closer. We'll move this out of the way. Where'd that go? Here it is. Uh, as I was saying, probably want to do that about there. Oh, the eye. Oops, wrong way, like that, and then like that. Now, if you have any questions about this, it is going to get fairly complicated fairly quickly. Uh, but, you know, it is just, it's just worth thinking about, really. Uh, ooh. No, that can actually move sideways by two. Excellent. So this is going to be where our circuits are. Now, oh, okay, that's not going to work there. That'll need to go there. I have an idea for the... Oh, that's pretty. 
I have an idea for that. So this is going to be our green circuits, okay? Uh, now, green circuits are the kind of resource where you can never get enough of them. They are great to have lots of. It's great to have really strong capacity. So we're going to do a really chunky circuit build just here. Now, it's, it's my favorite one. You know, most of you will have seen this before. So I apologize, but it is just awesome. I think we were, we were actually talking the other day, and, and I think it was... I think we... Glyph kind of claimed it. Um, I believe it was maybe the, the devs that, that had the idea to start with. And then, you know, it was kind of went from there where different people have, have taken the idea and then run with it. So one, two, one and two, one and two. Okay, same idea where we're splitting from the main line and moving it over so that we're preserving the throughput to the later th items. And that's just fractionally too small in range. Okay, there and there. Radio. So these are going to be copper cable. Now the reason I do it like this is because it matches up perfectly. The ratio is 3 to 2. Copper cable to circuit. So you'll notice that I've got two inserters here going to this one. All right. So two inserters from that factory into there. I've got two inserters coming out of this one, but one's coming to here, one's coming to here. And two inserters out of the last one. So that's our circuit build, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Now there's a way I like to take them out, and that goes through a buffer storage and then loads a belt. Okay, so there we go, and just for now what we'll do is we'll just loop this around and take it into our inserter factory. Two boxes, brilliant. Now that is nearly big enough to power everything. Just do that. Now, you can get the iron plate in a couple of different ways. Uh, we'll do a bit of a different one. Um, well, that's not going to work on that side. That's a bugger. Okay. Uh, something like that. Something like that. And what we'll do is we'll just thread it under like that. Done and done. Now we need to get the main line hooked up here. Now let's just see. Ooh, I haven't really left enough space here. That's not ideal. I'd like that to be a couple of couple more spaces away. But we'll have to live with that. You know, there's an example of better planning, um, you know, being helpful. <laughs> As I said, I'm, I'm doing all this on the fly, just trying to give ideas on how it'll all work. Well, I suppose that kind of works. Oops, I need to hook that up. So there we go, that is uh, inserters sorted, okay? Now, what this is going to be, okay, is, right, Let's just throw this down quickly because hopefully it will become clear. Right, what this will become up here is your advanced factories. Okay, so you, you'd come and you would do fast inserters because you notice that they need iron plates. So you could you do something like this. You know, run run that off there because the throughput isn't huge and as long as you keep an eye on it you know it'll work out okay and over here you would have red belt okay something like that but you notice now that we've got all that we need to make our green science so we'll come down actually we'll come straight across with it and down there we go two four Five and six. All right, green science is a go. 
So there you go. It's taken me 20 minutes to get this far. And you can see that I've got quite a little effective little factory. And this will crunch out the uh, the potions at a rate of 72 a minute. There you go. You can see it. It'll spike to 72. You can see that my production is quite strong. Um, actually, copper's higher than... I wonder why that is. Anyway. Now, just as we're letting the, the factory run, you can see that these things are starting to, you know, get starved. and So that's where you change the buffer storage, you know. We're going to have to look at increasing our production, okay, get more throughput, because you can see here that this isn't anywhere near compressed. So we're not getting the max benefit there. You can see that now we're, we're punching out the, the potions, as, <laughs> as lots of people call them. Science pack twos. Green science, if you must. Right, so that is, um, you know, the basics. And now I'll show you how you, you know, run more things off it, basically. Uh, so we have, for example, red transport belt. So the way I would do it is you can do it one of two ways. You can run it off the same... Um, gear wheel factory, which you know you can do. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, you just got to remember that it does use resources. You know, it, it isn't, you know, free. <laughs> um, and you are going to start pulling things from your main factory. But there you go. There's an example of how you can do it that way. And you know, if you did it, well, actually, it'll have to be a little bit different up here. But I'll demonstrate that now. Okay, fast inserter. So we need iron plate, normal inserters, and them. So what we will do is, dun, 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 uh, we will actually just split this the other way because reasons. You'll see why shortly. You notice that I'll, I'll prefer just to keep a belt pure rather than mix them. And it just makes it a little bit easier on the brain to, uh, to comprehend. Okay, there we go. Blue inserters sorted. Now, to make for smart inserters, we just need more of the same. Now, what we'll do is we'll just split this here. Up here. Split back over. Because reasons. Uh, just give me a minute and I'll show you why. Now, we really, 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 really need buffer storage in between these. Uh, Because you'll notice that one, they'll always out demand each other. It, it's hard to balance them out. So you need to do a little bit of trickery with um, logistics, well, not logistics, but logic circuits um, to get it to work nice. But it is doable. And we'll do that there. This here. Right, that's all fine. Power. All right. There we go. So we have smart inserters all handled as well. And you can see that now I'm quite a way away from my main bus. And you'll notice that the throughput will start to dramatically reduce the further you get away. Now that's okay um, because it's all about managing different parts of your factory. Now to solve this problem, you'll just increase your production. And the, f the factory will scale quite well. Uh, because you have these splitters, it's, it's not taking the entire thing. And at times it'll burst to higher numbers and then it'll settle back down again so you'll notice that you know this this side of things isn't taking that much really it's just going to fill this up you know if I stop this here okay it's going to stop taking things which means that you know this is going to back up which then transfers more capacity sorry transfers more resources back onto this middle line you know, as these things fill up, you know, for example, if we just restrict them to this and this and flog that and put that in there, okay, as these things change, you'll see that suddenly, you know, it'll stop drawing as much resources. And you'll see that things get 
you know, pushed back through. Oh, here we go. This is um, a good bit of fun. Oh, have a rocket to the face. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm pissing off the biters now, which is probably a good sign uh, to say that I'm it's probably time I, I you know wrap this thing up. But you can see how I can expand it without getting in my own way. You know, I can continue on this way, inevitable, um, you know, to infinity and beyond. You know, uh, the other idea is um, you know doing your steel. So let let's just cover steel quickly. Um, because I think that that's probably a cool build that we want to talk about. Now, in all cases, you do want to try and make your factory more intelligent. It is best if you have a factory that can react to what you're doing and knows when it shouldn't be making stuff. Uh, so let's just cover that now in this little build. Now you notice that I put down smart inserters, okay? There's a reason for that. Oh, we're out of belt. Come on. Damn it. Okay. Smart inserter. And, okay, I've got one of them there. Now, you can do something. Um, you just basically need a sensor, is what you need. Now, you can see here that I've... Actually, I don't need one of them there. I only need one of these. Okay. Now, this all this is is just... Um, it's giving me a way of reading how much steel I have. I'll throw that down there and that down there. Okie dokie. Now, time to get out the old uh, red and green wires. What I'm going to do... Okay. So I'm going to wire up the box. Actually, that doesn't need to be one of them either. I wired up the box. I'm just going to wire up all the power poles to start with. So that way I know they're all they're all connected. Then I'll wire up each inserter. Okay, that's all connected. That's good. Now, green wire condition. Okay, I'll, I'm going to run it off how much steel I have in this box. Hey, and I'm going to say, right, well, I want you to work so long as there is, you know, less than 100 in the box. As soon as it hits 100, it'll turn off. So we'll just copy and paste that across all of the little things. Now, what that'll do is that'll work. Now, when you have an output from the box, you know, this could be, I don't know, what's the, what's the build? Okay, let's do a quick ammo build down here. I just want to demonstrate something actually using this and how it all works in harmony. Now, we need to get the copper down, well, which is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. If I was smart, I'd do it on the other side. Okay, that there. Now I'm building this backwards because I know where I want to go with it, so it's just a matter of lining it up. Oh, bugger. That doesn't line up with anything, does it, really? Okay, we'll just go to there. Just go to there. Okay. Now I can split this off. That'll go down here and ammo there. Box. Give me a box. There it is. Box there. Okay. Nearly there. Power. Done. Okay. So, for example, right, we've got 16 in there. Now, I'm just going to set this, right, all the way down to 10. I'm going to copy. I'm going to paste. Paste, paste, paste. Yep, so that's fine. Okay. Now, while we're waiting for this to build, um, 
you can see that now because I've had added this little bit of you know smartness basically to the factory that we're gonna start to see this is this is gonna turn off you see that this isn't working anymore okay because it doesn't have less than 10 in here and this is gonna use it it's gonna you know work away we're gonna create ammo but in this way we can actually stop the draw on the main line okay you can see here that this is backed up so this is actually pushing it through different parts of the factory and you can additionally see that this has got 200 so this isn't really doing much okay, it's only really working as we need more uh -oh. I'll take those though <laughs> as we need more of these um, I'll just put them up into a box okay same thing so you can really limit how your factory works using this really simple setup so that is the central bus concept that is how to work with it and there you go in 30 minutes I've set up a nice little factory that would um, crush green research so everything in your research tree you know up to that stage where you're you're talking you know doing this kind of stuff where it's all red and green science not that one you know it's just gonna smash through that and allow you to to focus on other things so look at doing you know your blue um, blue science build and, and a few others so this we well, can see that we're nicely we've got some nice capacity now for our inserters you can see that this is all running pretty fast um, which is what you want you know when you look at actually I looked at my production stats earlier in the video and that's for my entire factory so that's why they were all skew if it's not just for this little thing uh, I'm an idiot <laughs> uh, yes if you've already commented and said you're an idiot yeah I am an idiot but right, look these um this would be produ producing nice and fast you know once they fill up it'll push through different parts of the factory you can see now that you know this isn't doing anything because we're not you know requiring anything out of this part of the factory we throw down a box here and limit it okay you're gonna see that it starts to work again so if you have any questions on the central bus design you know let me know I'm happy to help out happy to give you my thoughts uh, it's a very very good good design concept doing it this way makes a lot of sense and as you can tell you know it looks pretty freaking cool um, when you got things running everywhere you know lots of materials running down the middle it looks great the middle will uh, run really fast by design you know as you as you get further into the game you know you'll start to be like okay well I need I've maxed out the compression on my belt right I just need more capacity what you would do is actually come along you know throw down a bunch of splitters upgrade the entire thing and then go to town with the faster belts and you know that would help your problem because the faster a belt is the greater the throughput you know, and this this is very upgradable, very very easy to get more speed out of this kind of design. Uh, just by doing that, you know, you can take your you know your early game design to actually be a late game design. Allow me to show you just quickly. Uh, oops, actually, what I'll do is I'll just turn this off because I do not want it building without me around to defend it. I'll need to throw down some laser turrets and things. Make sure that's defended because it's a cool little factory. I'm I'm happy with that. So this obviously is my let's play. So it uh, it's a 45 hour, 50 hour factory. Plenty of time in it. You can see here that same concept, right? I've got central bus. This is before I actually got wise and and worked out how to do it. You can see that it just runs. Everything runs off this, and then I've got my little builds splintering off from there. You know, science is in here. Blue science comes off. It never actually uses it directly, but you know, down here we've got batteries. Um, steel is coming in via logistic spots and is being actually built over there. Motherfucker! You can see that. I <laughs> uh, leave and they start attacking. Anyway, I'm going to go defend my little factory. Thank you very much for joining me. Make sure you comment. If you have a question, I'd love to help you out, and I'll see you for the next tutorial. Got to run. See